Jaleel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're doing that the whole episode, right? Yeah. How is, is that so funny to y'all? Bro, bro that we, shit's smooth, bro. Jaleel, Jaleel mm. we yeah. literally on the power set, me and Michael walk around all day long in between scenes. Really? Jaleel, It's either yeah. that or tell them to bring out the, tell them to bring out the whole old shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Airport buys breakfast. Buys breakfast. Day one, day one. We're going to take a quick break from the episode and we're going to talk to you about our friends at Plant Made. Plant Made is a hair growth product that never, ever fails to impress. Plant Made is completely vegan and they use high quality natural ingredients. And anyone and everyone can use Plant Made. They have genderless and ageless products for all hair types, and you could also use it for beard growth. I literally love the way that these products make my hair feel. It just feels so natural and fresh. You smell good, look good, taste good, smell good, feel good, all type of shit. What do you mean by taste, my guy? <laughs> no, 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 scrap that. <laughs> They're a trusted company and everything is handmade. On top of that, they're a black female-owned business. Now, listeners of the Crew Has It can get 15% off their order online by using the code CREW at weareplantmate.com. So if you use the promo code CREW, you get 15% off and this code can be combined with shipping discounts. Once again, go to weareplantmate.com and use that code CREW for your 15% off your order online. Listen, do you want to feel good, look good, Smell just be good. confident? Come on, man. Plant made. Go get that. They got you covered. Go get that. Back to the episode. When when I told Michael that we went to high school together, he didn't yeah. even believe me. Bro, I was like, what? I yeah, know. it's just like a weird thing. That was the craziest shit ever. I'm like, that is Bro, so random. Because like, nobody makes it out of Rhode Island. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's and really then they it. finally see niggas like us and yeah. they're like wait what the fuck like, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo bro i was yeah. like no way that's yeah, so bro, fire bro it's not even like okay a lot of people go to high school together or like they were like three grades ago I me mean, bro we were in the same chemistry class is that not fucking wild? That shit was funny. Were you guys raising hell in, in, in class? Like, was that, was I that was wilding, but he was wilding. Like, <laughs> like, this dude would just be like making noises, cheating in class. And I'll just be like in the back, like looking at him, like, bro, it's tripping. <laughs> I remember I remember we were in English class. Was it English? No, it was like, a, what was it? We it had was, like three classes. Again. Yeah, bro. We had mad classes. And That's this wild. nigga was, it was like me. Giovanna Ritchie, Gio yeah, Ritchie, yeah, and he was in front. And oh, he, that was English. You know? Yeah, <laughs> English. Yeah, and this nigga would always be getting called to read, and he just hated it. I yeah. could tell, like the teacher just <laughs> wanted exactly, you to read, yeah. but he would just be like, just he, he would, would just you be making read jokes. Purpose, yeah. right? You were just whiling, bro. Yeah, I was just clowning around, bro. I just wanted to make everyone laugh. Like I was Damn, like, I wish bro, I was in school with y'all. Yeah, I know, bro. It but crazy. it's proud. I'm happy to see like. People from Rhode Island, you know, where there's people that are talented there too. Hell yeah. You know, a lot of people think Rhode Island, oh, like that's bumblefuck town, you know, mm -hmm. but we're actually talented human beings there too. So, I mean, it is bubble, bumblefuck town, but, <laughs> <laughs> but there are talented people that come from there. People think like tumbleweed is rolling around. <laughs> yeah, like that. I like, that's what I was thinking before I went. Yeah. But when I went, it was lit. Yeah, we, we, did, a, we did a hosting. Where'd y'all go? We went to uh, um, Federal Hill. At Wells? It was it was uh, Broad Street. On oh, Broad Street? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's like little New York. It was lit. But New Yorkers hate when I say that. Right? I mean- Because there's mad that. Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and shit. Oh, yeah. It's like Dykeman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love Dykeman. Dykeman fun. Bro, New like, York? Yeah, oh, we got to turn up in New York. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, fact. That for was sure. such a random night to see y'all yesterday. Yo, Bro, for real. I had yo. not seen him since high school. That's really crazy. I know. And then And then like I texted Julio a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, yo, me and Mike are coming out to LA. We have to get you for the podcast. Like, yeah. we'll have brace or whatever. And he's like, I'm there. Whatever you need me, I'm there. I'm like, great. Bro, I had, I've been outside for years in LA. Yeah. I have not seen you one time. I know. All of a sudden, and you want to know what's so funny? Hmm. We had, so we did, we do two episodes back to back, everyone knows. We did Paolo Banchero earlier. Derek, who's from Rhode Island, has been trying to link me and Paolo up for years. Wow. And I seen him outside last night too. I was yeah. like, bro, really? the universe yeah, was just. 
Two Valo? of the two guests we oh, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The Hooper, right? Yeah. yeah. I just seen. Yeah. 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 He, seen him last he night. goes up to Paul Benchero, rookie of the year, and he he's goes, like, yo, I want to dunk on you. And yeah. then he says, he said, yo, you play ball? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Damn, I so feel bad. like I feel so bad. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He, How did I know? <laughs> nah, he ain't kidding. Damn, am I a bad person? He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I'll play for the magic and shit. Am I, am I a bad person? Nah, bro. Okay, okay. You just not into the basketball sometimes. It's all right, though. It's all right. But. You can sit back, get a little comfortable if you want. You don't gotta, you know. No, I know I his his muscles are so big. He's yeah, like, he can't. He's, I gotta be still. So Wait, are he's you serious? So no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could chill. <laughs> well, I, I, so I want to hear like. Julia, Julia, yeah. You know what's so crazy? My legs so are so cool. long. My torso is short. <laughs> so that's why if you sit next to me, mm. you're taller than me. But when I stand up, I'm taller than you. Yo. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, we got to take a flick like that. Yeah. <laughs> so when did you move to LA? When when was the move for you? Um, hmm. Okay, so July 2018. I just graduated from Loyola University, Maryland. And I didn't have a plan. Yeah. I kind of just came out here because my heart told me to. Right. So I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna come out here. And I was homeless. But I had my cell phone, so I could always make Jaleel content. Right. So I was always ripping my shirt, screaming, Jaleel. <laughs> 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 you know, and people started to take notice because I was doing like little content videos. Like I'll rip my shirt, go dunk a basketball, you know, and people would be like, yo, like this dude is dope. And then they would ch click the link in my bio and be like, oh, he make music too? So they checked out my music. Obviously, my music there back then wasn't like the best, but you know, like um, I love it because it, it it wasn't an easy story for me. But <laughs> every time I look at your face, I want to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a laughable face, but that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. But it was fun though. I'm happy that God told me Jaleel is not gonna be an easy route. It's still not easy. You know, I still feel like I gotta prove shit, but I'm proving it to myself because I know I could do it, you know? So, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. How was your LA story? I, I was kind of the same thing. Like, I mean, when I was nine on my nineteenth birthday, I drove out here um with Alex Padilla and my older brother. Yeah. It's like 24 hour drive. Yeah, we drove, no, no, we drove directly to Vegas. We to didn't Vegas? stop until Vegas. We all rotated because we didn't have money to stay in a hotel. Yeah. We all just rotated um, and we stopped in Vegas. So was that like 20 something hours, 20, 20 hours? Jeez. Yeah, it was like something like that. We literally drove straight and then I moved here, had, worked a restaurant job, catered. Got my car repossessed, was homeless, sleeping on people's mm. couches. Like I dude, I did all of it. It was it was fucking terrible. Oh, but yeah. I never one time in my mind had any doubt. Yeah, like, cause yeah, I yeah. asked you last night when we had Delilah, I was like, because you did did you know you wanted to do music? I was like, cause you just moved out. Like I knew I wanted to be yeah. an actor in entertainment. So I had like a more clearer route. Yeah. Like I knew what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like there's so many different ways to go about it. I got an agent pretty quick and then I started auditioning. And then once I started auditioning, like you have a stream of possibilities coming into your email. So I started taking acting classes and doing all that stuff to get better so those possibilities could come true. But music is a lot different. You and Like you said, you were making content. Like that's how people tapped into yeah. your music. So like, what was your vision when you came out here? Okay, so my vision, I didn't really have a vision. I just felt like I had to, like God was like, Jaleel, come to LA. And Did I just you know came out here? here. I didn't know nobody. So, you know, I was just trying to, you know, make content, you know. And labels, they knew about me. People were like, yo, you're dope, you're dope. But no label wanted to take a chance on me. Right. Were you making music before you moved to LA? Yeah, I was yeah. making music too. But no, like, I dropped my album like a year later when I was in LA. Mind you, I was still like meeting people, getting in the studio sleeping in the studios, you know? And um, yeah, like I dropped the album, some a and hit me up like, bro, like your stuff is really good. And I was like, thank you. And um, there were some a and that took me to labels to try to sign me, but they didn't see the vision, 
They didn't know how to market me. They didn't know, you know, how to even make me blow, you know. But um, I I had to blow up myself on TikTok. I was just on TikTok. That's the like, best way, though, independent. Yeah, man. that's the you best way. Yourself. Yeah, really the best way you own your show. That's exactly. Your so, you know, like obviously it's different being an actor. Right. You know, even being an actor, like say if you hopped on TikTok and you were like, "Yo, I'm gonna just." be role playing on TikTok as an actor. It's hard to actually be a real actor from right, that. Right. You know? Because you get put engaging. in a box after exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. They put you in a certain but type of box. For music, if you have good music and you have a strong brand, you can make it. Yeah. You know, that's what I had to do. And especially when you're work. entertaining too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you don't only you don't only have the music, you have your entertainment side of everything. Facts. Too. Yeah. Like, people people look at me and they just don't know what to think. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still like that, and we, <laughs> and we went to high school for four years together. Yeah, it's weird <laughs> because it's like this this nigga built like Geo dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he sounds like yeah, <laughs> but he can flip like a ten year old five two gymnast. Yeah, you know, so it's weird. It's like it's like is this nigga real? <laughs> yeah. 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 But guys, I am real. I am real. <laughs> Wait, so you, but you were I'm not. Real. <laughs> I'm real, yeah. <laughs> real. <laughs> Just real. For real. When, when, when you were in high school, though, you were not this big and you were not doing that kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, so yeah, where yeah. did it come from? He's like steroids. <laughs> no, but like where did like the, the thought of that, like f like doing that stuff to market come from? It came from within. <laughs> it actually came you know, just one of those things that was built over time, right. but it really did come from within. I never touched a roid in my life. Yeah, no, I was just fucking with you. Mm -hmm. I have. Um, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I got the. Hey, he said, not all Nigerians are built like this, but I have a Nigerian genetic, and I think it's one of the things that I'm blessed with. To you know, but you guys could look like me if you get the real raw plan, the Jaleel meal. It's coming soon. Oh shit! You know whoever whoever needs a Jaleel meal, I'm coming. I'm we're gonna get you some. That's genius, Jaleel meal. Fire. That's genius. And it's gonna make me swole. Yeah, right. and a Jaleel juice. <laughs> got you. I need that. Wait, you I took roids? <laughs> nah, I was just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was just joking. I never. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like? No. <laughs> yeah. People be like, people be like, is bro natty? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Are you really natty? Because my I have a stomach, like my I have stomach, but it's abs. Yeah. So they just be like, "Bro's not natty." Yeah. And I'm like, "Bro, like I am natty, yeah. but like I don't know how to prove it to y'all. Right. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Right. You know, just keep backflipping. Yeah. yeah. Keep hey, I backflip my way here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to the studio. That's fire. Yeah. He, he get a speed. He get a speed boost when he do that shit. He yeah. Speed boost when he do that shit. Bro, bro did you see a video when I backflip? And my snot hit a backflip too. Yo, yes. I'm like, bro, this nigga, he got talent. <laughs> so crazy. To, to do a backflip and then make your snot do the backflip too yeah, was like- It was yeah. weird. They, they called it in slow motion, nigga. That shit. Yeah. It hit a double backflip, yeah, that, actually. That hit that shit. <laughs> so, so when- I'm telling when, you. When you were ripping your shirt off and stuff like that, when did it, it start to like blow up? Immediately or it took time? It took time. Yeah. It wasn't until I hit up TikTok and got on TikTok- you know, but when I was doing it on Instagram, you couldn't blow up on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The From 2018 to 2021, 20, you could not blow up on Instagram. Yeah. Unless you got posted by like the Shade Room or, <laughs> you know. But other than that, no one, how could people find you? Right. But now if you hop on Reels. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Bro, I posted a Reel of me on a show. Like I, I did a front flip in the crowd and it went super duper viral there was it is it the one where you're like your foot is like in the camera and it says you're dead yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, it was that video but, that video, but it not that, that exact video yeah that yeah one. not that exact video mm. but bro that shit's at like 70 mil 70 bro yes i i jumped from 200,000 followers to almost 800k in a week oh my that is God. insane and people are showing people are like okay let me go listen to his music mm -hmm. people are listening to i was in the back room ready mm -hmm. i'm that thing confetti she she don't don't want it, when she's throwing it back i'm ready yeah, that's so that's yeah i'm happy i'm happy people are loving it you know drake 
Yeah. Showing love. That's fine. Wait, wait, what? What happened? Champagne Poppy. What do you, I know. I'm he familiar sh- with him. <laughs> yeah. I know who it is. <laughs> He's showing love. Drizzy Drake, yeah. Drizzy Drake be showing mad love to me. That's fire. You know? Like, you got to like, get him on a track, man. Yeah. He, he got to teach him how to backflip, too. Of course. I think he got it. He seems like he athletic, yeah. you know, but- What did he say? He like DM'd or you guys like- So I met him in person at a party like two months back and we was at, I think, Peppermint Club and- you know, just chilling, vibing around. And he pulls up on me. He's like, bro, you are amazing. <laughs> I was like, what, me? <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> you're like, you're like, Jaleel? I'm like, Jaleel? Yeah? I'm like huh? <laughs> How do you know me? So when he said that, I knew I was on, I knew I was on the right track. Like, right. you That's know, one of the greatest artists in the world, like, Telling you, giving you props to is ever amazing. Exist. To, ever, to exist. ever exist. Numbers, everything. Yeah, it's tough. You know, that's the biggest cosign anybody would want. Yeah. You know, so um, he followed me. He was like, bro, I want to know what else you're doing, the music. I want to hear everything. And we never got to link, but he followed me. So every time I would post, he would be like, what the fuck? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, and there was one video I came out in crutches. Yeah, I love that you know? video. And I love I love being a terrorist. <laughs> and, uh, I love being a terrorist in the show. Like, not you know, I'm not a terrorist, but <laughs> like I like being a troll. Right. You know. So when um when I came out, people really want me to get hurt. Like they really don't like me. You know. Why? But, like, what, what? What do you mean? Like the fans? Like just people I think at haters, festivals? The yeah. haters, you yeah. know. And you know how fans are. They're very fickle. Right. You know, one day they love you, the next day they hate you. So, you know, I came out in crutches. I was like, guys, my doctor said I can't. You know. And then the music started. Throw <laughs> one of the crutches up. Throw another crutch up. You know. Just and then like backflip. And then, you know, it just felt good. And then one of the fans was like, was like. Cause I posted a picture before I performed with the crutches, and he was like, "I knew it, nigga." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, bet." So when I posted the video of me flipping and trolling him, he was like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck you too." <laughs> you know, I felt like Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, Drake. Shout out Drake, the goat man. He be showing my love. He actually liked the. Afrobeat snippet I posted, you know. So hopefully one day, you know, God willing, you hop up on that Jaleel, scene. Jaleel Jaleel and Drake project. would be amazing, you know. Hey, you never know. <laughs> That's that crazy. That yeah, so yeah, tough. yeah. So, so what's like? What's next for you? Like, what are what are the goals for Jaleel? Like, is it just make 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 a living doing music? Is it even outside of music? Yeah. yeah is there yeah, anything yeah. specific? Hey, you, you know what? I want to hop in. The acting as well, bro. Yeah. I think I think have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah have yeah. to. Bro. I want to. Tariq, yeah. Tariq, yeah. Hey yo. <laughs> yeah, that was a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was more like R and B sensual. <laughs> Tariq, <laughs> yeah. How would you say your name? Okay. Okay. That was funny. Breeding, yeah. Like that. Okay. Go <laughs> away. He, he goes, okay. <laughs> I think it's okay. You it's know? Okay. Right. Yeah. You gotta teach him. Yeah. I'll be like, Tariq, yeah. <laughs> Tariq, yeah. <laughs> is that crazy? Nah, he hit that crazy. Like that. He's so good. Yeah. But this is the thing. I don't got it like that. When I get into I, I, I do want to do the WWE shit too. Right. Bro. You know, the you WWE have to, bro, shit. Have they hit body. you up or anything? I think they want me to be a bigger artist first. Right. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's going to happen. You know, I want to, I actually want to do like something smaller first. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, like maybe I come out performing and then. You know, I take somebody and suplex them into a table or something, you right. know? Because I love WWE. Right. You know, I love Jeff Hardy. You Fine. know, I love when he would hit the... You know? yeah, yeah. yeah, And I love HBK. I love 
I love all the wrestlers, man, and I I want to show that yeah, I could do that guy, too. You know, Jaleel is very multifaceted, and um, I wanna I wanna show I'm a legend. I could do everything I put my mind to. Right. You know, yeah. It's and I wanna hi. I would love to be on Power too. Yeah. That'd be lit. Yeah. Talk yo, to Fifty. Yo, he's yeah. in like the school and shit. Whatever. Yeah. He's like. He's like he's in canonical studies. Yeah, <laughs> nah. Be, you think Nah, you wouldn't want to be in that class. I ain't gonna lie. No, they will have you saying like crazy ass words with like ten syllables and shit. It's not fun. For real, you be there filming the one scene for like seven hours. You ain't, you don't, you're not gonna want to do that. Damn, you want to be you gonna want to be like one of the one of the gangsters. Honestly, you gonna no, no, be no, no, no. Some hey, shit. bro, I could do it too. Yeah, bro. Have Let you done know. acting stuff before? Uh, in high school. Yeah. What'd you do in high school? Remember we had to do like acting classes. Yeah. That place was hard though. We had like a, it was like a theater room. Mm -hmm. That shit was lit. Miss Hayes' class. I yeah, went back yeah, yeah. and taught a class uh, last year. For real? Yeah, look mm -hmm. at I gotta go back to the yeah. to the youth. Yeah. I gotta go back to. We should the go kids. back together and do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me know. Wow. I will. I'm, I'm always down to. Dude, they went. Those kids went crazy. They're like, yeah, <laughs> bro. Those kids went nuts. When I showed up at that school, bro, those kids went so insane. It's really yeah, how did it feel? Did you bro. Feel cool. It was crazy. Like. How cool did you feel? Because you know how it was in high school, like who, who Miss Richards, that was our, our dean. Yeah, yeah. She hated me. I know. She hated me. She bro. hated you? Hated me. She she loved me though. Did she? But yeah. she's maybe she like, cause you're just like a good guy. I guess yeah. in high school. He's black. Uh, yeah. Me? Hey. It's because he's maybe. Yeah. She, she, she was like, yeah. White privilege didn't work that time. Yeah, that's true. Bro, why would she hate you though? I just think because I was like, it's not her fault. I was a yeah. fucking little asshole. I <laughs> but like, but like I I like I didn't like have a bad bone in my body. I just wanted to like be like a badass little kid and have fun and make people laugh. And yeah. she didn't like that because I didn't listen to people. I'm yeah. like, I knew school wasn't for me. Uh -huh. I knew I had because you had to do it. Right. I knew I had to be there. I was like, I'm gonna make this fun for me. <laughs> so she hated that. So then in turn, when I came back, had on the little bus now, Roly. I had on all yeah. my shit. I came back to school. I was like, I drove up in my Porsche. I was like, Fuck y'all, motherfuckers! And then the kids showed me mad love. I walked in school, bro. There was like fifty kids with like phones out taking videos. Really? I was like, yeah, bro. Now nah, so we good. gotta come back, bro. Yeah, you gotta I suplex like, me. I know, I know. Yo, that you. would be fire. Yeah, that would be a hard. I'll pay to see that. Would you be able to take it? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Jaleel, no, <laughs> Jaleel, hey yo. <laughs> but we could do it. Yeah, it'd be fun. Anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> he might kill you. Yeah, he, you, you might, you really might kill me. Bro, I'm gentle though. I'm a, I'm a gentle child. Bro, that's the way. You were the nicest guy in high school. Like, yeah. I just really was a kid that had hoop dreams, and I was trying to play basketball, make the basketball team, and I never would. You didn't make the, ba the maybe, basketball team. Ever. Maybe I sucked. I don't know. Damn, you, you were ash. I don't know. You want a hoop? <laughs> they got a hoop outside. Let's get it. What it <laughs> we tell Paolo to come back. We'll play two on two. Yeah. Me and Paolo take on you guys because um, I'll I'm dunk George. on Paolo. Yeah, he said he did say that. First words he said to Paolo, he said, Yo, I'm gonna try to dunk on you. That's crazy. You play basketball? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like, um, yeah, for the magic. Yo, that was I'm like yeah. a I'm like a kid because I like I like seeing challenges and I'll be like, Yeah, I could do it. You know? Yeah. You can see the kid energy, huh? Yeah, for sure. Okay, but okay. you've always—it's always been like a like a innocent like I just want to like have fun energy, which is the way that I am. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I could tell, bro. I can't. I really dead ass. Like you're almost there. Like you're blowing the fuck up. But like when you blow, bro, you are going to blow the fuck up, yeah, and I will. can't wait for it. Yeah, I'm happy too. I mean, I I pray, you know, it happens. Try to, you know, stay off the internet. Try to, cause bro. It's crazy, like as an artist nowadays, you gotta be so careful Hell with yeah. what you say, yeah. with what you, you do, tweet, what you show. You know? So I just be just be chill. Just be chill. <laughs> have you have you gotten any hate or like stuff like that with stuff you said? Uh not really. Just been like I've always just tried to stay out the stay out of it, you know. Yeah. But with what's been going on, I've been good, you know? Yeah. I feel like everybody like finds me every day, like Who's this dude? Who's this dude? Yeah. You know? So I've been good staying out of trouble. Um, you know, it's just spreading positivity and love to everybody. Yeah. You know? 
Jaleel, man. This is fucking Jaleel, crazy. Jaleel, yeah. He's a great guy. He wants to just bring positive love to everybody. Yeah. So are you are you working on an album right now? Or like, so, what's... Okay, so I dropped an album called Real Raw. Fire. We love like it. Like two months ago. And it was like really just a lot of like high energy stuff, you know? It had a little bit of versatility. But now I'm really focusing on just like my Afro-Nigerian side because... That's the music I grew up on, right. you know? So just a lot of Afrobeat, a lot of, you know, just club music, Jersey club, you know, you know, drill, like just all, a lot of different types of vibe because I think I could fuck up the club too. Hell yeah. You know? But this nigga's versatile as fuck though. Yeah. I think he's versatile as fuck, but when, he, when that, bro, that confetti shit, bro, I'm like, nah. Yeah. I'm like, nah. Dude, you so know what's funny? so crazy with that like, record though? Like, I always knew that record was strong. It was strong but as fuck. I like once I seen it and I put it out and I'm like, damn, like. And then the video. I thought that shit. Fire, yeah, no, that shit was that shit was hard. Child, child slid too. Yo, child is so tough. We just he was we just made some inside a lamb. Damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucked to go inside a lamb. We yeah. just made some shit like last week in the studio. That, like, oh, for real? Fire shit. He I'm going like, crazy. I think he's gonna drop some shit with Koi. Where? Koi Lorraine. Fire. Yeah, yeah. Koi Lorraine fire too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's tough. That's my girl. Um. That's your girl. Yeah, you didn't see that. <laughs> so <Where>? so <laughs> TMZ stopped me and, and they were like, shoot your shot with someone. I was like, Koi Lorraine, what up? <laughs> so it's so bad. Vibe, complex, like all that shit. Really? Hip hop, bro, everything. Shaving. Bro, do you have TMZ pull up on you and try to. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's pulled up on us twice. Like, How do you feel about it? Do you like it? Or do you like kind of just like, oh, yeah, for us, you. like for like the two times it happened for me, it was Gucci because they don't, they don't, they wasn't on no weird shit with us. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, yeah. it's like, I bet, like, you know, I'm not gonna like be a dickhead if you're not yeah. being a dickhead. No, I feel you. I feel I, like, I, I sometimes feel like... you gotta just be careful with certain people that yeah. just be asking certain weird shit, but they haven't pulled up on us on the weird shit. I haven't shit got yet. it yet. I think I'm like, I think I'm like a C list celebrity. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not A list yet, but hopefully one day. You know, I feel like we have the perfect amount of fame where like we don't get harassed. Yeah. Like people don't follow us around. Like those those motherfuckers, like Tom Cruise and those people, like they can't drive anywhere because everyone just gets in cars and I follows know. them home to their houses. They're waiting outside, For real? seeing who's dude. If you saw the late night four a.m., I'm like, I don't want TMZ taking pictures. Of the girls no, that's crazy. That you know? <laughs> They're gonna pull up on me like, do a backflip, do a backflip. Yeah, <laughs> that ass. yeah. and I'm be like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I just feel like it's a perfect amount where like people support us and love us, and you know yeah. we get in places and it's fun. We get comedy. Shit, fun. Jaleel got us in the spot last night. Actually, you did I Jaleel. Know, I'm like, I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, they good. Like, they all good. Like, Too bad yeah. it wasn't like that popping. But yeah. Do you go to that spot a lot? No. Nah. I just was there. They usually and... be lit though. They usually yeah, be yeah, lit. yeah. But... You know what? I love Miami. I want to go back to Miami. Miami's, you know, Miami's a vibe. Yeah. Too many beautiful. You know, women. I just want to give them all a hug. <laughs> bro, bro, it was so funny when we was leaving last yeah, night. I just want to give them all a hug. When That's we, how I be feeling too. They all deserve a hug. When we was leaving Delilah last night, bro, I had not seen you in fucking 10 years. I know. So I was like, bro, I was like, I was like, hugging him. I was like, bro, I love you. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, though. Let me go get these two girls' Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll see you tomorrow, Jaleel. Listen, man, the sniper hey, goes snipe, you heard? Had to. You got to shoot your shot when it's... Available, you know. Yeah, you so, miss that hoe. You can't miss that hoe. Yeah, you shoot that hoe. Do you think you'll live out here for a while, or will you go back to Rhode Island? Will, will you go? This going to Miami. I feel. I think. Yeah, I'll definitely get a spot in Miami. You know, L.A. Hopefully, you know, maybe London, Dubai. Yeah. You know, Nigeria. You know, I just want to be by coastal. Yeah. I want to be like y'all niggas. Yeah. yeah. You guys are by coastal, right? Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah, he is yeah. more than me. I'd be by coastal when I like. Feel like it. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, but I'm I'm trying to get I'm trying to get up out of New York soon. But really? I can't leave New York though. But oh, that's your home. Yeah, like I love it there, bro. Like I feel. What like part of New York? Staten Island. I'm from Staten Island. Stan? Oh no wonder. Yeah. That's how you know Chow and them. Huh? Yeah. No, no, no. They they not from Staten. They not. No, no, no. They from like like Queens type shit. Like, oh, okay. Queens, like okay. Well, I think yeah. I think no, 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 no. Chow is from um. He's from Long Island. I'm oh, about Long to, Island. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. is from Long Island. Yeah, we are like separate islands. That's crazy. Yeah, the opposite islands, but. Like, yeah, bro. I know so, everybody in New York, though. I when I come everywhere. to New York, you got me? Yeah, bro. We outside, bro. I got you. You don't want to come to Staten Island, though. That shit boring. No, no, no. I'm already know. Unless you, unless you like like pizza and I'll like, be in Italian. Soho. Yeah, it'd be little. Yeah, Soho, that's where. Do you just walk around the streets and everyone's like, 
Look at bro, this dude. I'd be getting stopped. Yeah, right. They'd be like, do a backflip. I'd be like, how about how's your day first? <laughs> yeah. You know, they're like, damn. Like, can I just chill? It's yeah. never. It's how never many backflips do you do a day? It depends on the count. <laughs> right now, I'm on five. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. Hopefully, I get to ten by tonight. Ten, <laughs> bet. He he got the goal set, yeah. guys. Ten for the night. My backflips. I don't know. I think I was made to backflip. Nah, them shits <laughs> clean though. I ain't gonna lie, they clean though. Like, my look leg, like bro floating. My leg, my I think it's my legs. I got like, I got like ostrich kangaroo legs. <laughs> so you they know? just it just makes it easy. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I guess that's just how it is. 10, 10 backflips a day. That's yeah. that's what you usually go for. Ten a day. Ten a day. Ten you a know, day. I be hitting them squats too. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I need to learn how to backflip, man. Yeah, I got you. You want to <laughs> do it right now? Let's go. <laughs> nah, 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 we can't kill Michael. <laughs> we, we need him. We need him. We got a yeah. few, more, few yeah. more episodes we gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> few, more <laughs> few more episodes we gotta do. Then I could then I could start yeah. then I could start learning my backflip. Fifth yeah, gonna backflip. be like what? <laughs> yeah, you doing, huh? nigga doing backflip? <laughs> get get Jaleel on the phone right now. <laughs> Where that nigga Jaleel at, man? Oh, oh hey, bro, I tried to teach him. I was just trying to help him out. Trying yeah. break, have my young boy break his neck. <laughs> oh have you been tapped into power since day one, or like? Um, always tapping in, tapping back out. Right. <laughs> I just didn't know if you watched the show or not, like because no, no, we no, know no, each no. other, so I just didn't no, know if you no, like, no, no. or if you like, you started watching it because I was on it. Or like, I no, 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 no. I always would watch it, and then I think, I think I was watching it before you even got on. Yeah, you know, but you know, I I fell off of it, and then I would always see you in an episode. I'd be like, oh, let me put on the episode, and see Gianni, you know. But the show is legendary. Yeah, you know, yeah. pretty cool, and I love that. You guys kind of took over it. Yeah. Gang. You know? Not a lot of people love that, man. Yeah. Why? I don't know. They be missing ghosts and shit. You know, that's how fans are, though. Yeah. But, you know, give them some time. Nah, yeah. They're going to learn how to, like, a good majority on, like, change, of them is fine with us, though. People see change and they be like, I don't fuck with it. And mm -hmm. then, after you know, a while, after a while they're, they're like, like oh, wow, I, I understand it. Like, oh. But yeah, we, we kind of we kind of winning them over a little bit. They, yeah. they, they kind of loving the boys a little bit. How are you guys mentally? I'm great. Yeah, Shit. Okay. <coughs> oh, damn. What happened? <laughs> you know what's so crazy? Shit. I went to college for psychology. So I like to study. <laughs> I like to study. You did? Like study. You studied psychology? Yeah. And how was that? It for was four good. years? No, no, no. I kind of studied biology the first two days. Two Dude, years. you were so dumb in science class. How I did know. you do that? I cheated. <laughs> you cheated in college? Shh. <laughs> Wait, could they take away my? <laughs> nah, he was cheating in high school. He was just cheating in high school. No, he was cheating in high school. Could they take away my scholarship if I cheated? Bro, but why did you pick that? You and I were so dumb in chemistry. We would always, we would always have, bro. Our beakers were like upside down, and all, everyone's like doing the shit, and me and him were like, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I, <laughs> I said I wanted to be a doctor. I don't know. I just told my African parents, yo. I'm going to listen to y'all. But I didn't know what I wanted to do. <laughs> I went to college. I was just like, fuck it, biology. And then I took it and I was like, fuck no. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to do psychology it's easier. What do they think about what you're doing now? They love it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, it's hard to get like an African or like a Caribbean family to love what you're doing if it's not going Mom to school, be like, being a business like, wait, man. You like, rip yeah. your shirt off and do backflips for a living? They'd be like, I saw and I love you all. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, mommy. But this is the thing. At first, they didn't understand. You know, they're like, how are you going to make money? Nah, 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 nah. And then they see everything and they're like, wow. Oh, that's how you do this it. Is, this is how, this is, our son's a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do. They, they live they, in Nigeria right now? Yeah, they live in Nigeria. Oh, that's they lit. go back and forth, but mostly in Nigeria. When's the last time you've been? Uh, December. Bro, I saw that video where you, bro, he pulled up to the, to the food truck. He like got the food. Yeah. He paid for it. And then he just walked off like a GTA character. I was like, "Give me taste, give me taste," <laughs> because the 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 chicken shop, you know, they you could try some samples, but you know you have to pay for it. But I didn't want to pay, so that's why I was like, "Give me taste, give me taste." And then I ate the chicken, did a backflip, and left. But it looked like I was like a robot. <laughs> it you know? was, dude, it was a GTA character. Yeah. Like you he know said, how they walk off. Like, yeah. dude, like it was so. It's so funny, bro. I didn't want to pay, <laughs> so I just. 
Nigeria is Nigeria is a great country, bro. Y'all gotta come. Bro, we gotta be bro, out. I'm we, trying to go for sure. Ghana to, too. Are you recognizing Ghana, right? Bro, they be pulling up on me too. Right? Be like, Jaleel, Jaleel, <laughs> Jaleel, yeah. <laughs> you know, Nigerians, they, they show so much love. And that's why I really want to tap into the Afro. But put my own swing in it. You know? I've always done Afrobeat, but really like dive in and, and make it my own, you right. know? Right. But um, you guys should come to Ghana too. Right. Ghana's lit in December. I think I'm. Yeah. I think I'm. I think I'm actually going in December. Yeah, you should. I think I might be going. Is, isn't don't they have like some shit called um, Afro Cello or something? Yeah, like Afro Cello. Yeah, that's yeah, what it is yeah, yeah. In, in December, right? It was lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in there. I was like, <laughs> this shit was fire. Nah, I gotta go. I ain't gonna, I'm going. Who, who are who are some other celebrities that or artists or people you love that you've seen out on tour that have showed you love? Huh, let me Cause think. you, cause you do the fe big festival runs, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Um. Yeah. Uh. 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 uh Doja Cat. That's fire. She was like, she pulled up on me. She was like, feel my muscles. Am I in the gym yet? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah. You're doing good. Keep going. You know? <laughs> but she was showing, she was showing love to me once. Um. Who else? I'm trying to think. Denzel Curry. That's he be fine. showing mad love. That's, That's a homie. Um, it's so crazy because I'm just starting to meet like celebrities right. like that. Like Koi LeRae, like anytime I see her, showing love, Lil Yachty. Damn, man. You know? Right. It's okay, bro. I think she I think she likes you. I think she'll like you. <clears throat> Do you hear something? <laughs> I, I didn't hear anything. Oh, all right, no, I was just watching. Is that your crush? Who's your celebrity crush? Bro, it changes like it literally changes <laughs> daily. Who's your celebrity crush? Damn. Um, I want to give you a second. If you ask me right now from yesterday, oh, I'd say no. the I'd say Ice Spice from the Delhi video. <laughs> like from it changes video? every day, bro. Imagine if I popped out with Ice Spice. Bro, that shit would go crazy. That's what I'm saying. That was, that'll be a good couple. Yo, yeah. Jay and Ice Spice would be so crazy to yeah. look at like side by side. I know. Like, what is that? What? Actually, that I can see that in the future. G and Ice what Spice. About you? What about you? I don't know, bro. Um, Megan Good, bro. Yeah, yeah. Megan you don't know? Megan Good. Megan oh, Megan good. good. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah. What about you? Um, I have a couple. <laughs> Yeah, I do too. You know? The list would be too far. I like um. We have a ten minutes. I you know I like Coyle Ray. I think she's hard. I'll yeah. fight you for her. Yeah. You know? Hey, we could do it anytime. <laughs> but got some competition. I also like you know Ruby Rose. She's tough. Oh yeah. She's tough. <laughs> you know Ruby Rose is tough. She's fire. She Ruby. Yeah. Chloe Bailey's tough too. Yeah. Chloe you know? Coops goes on tour with her. He's, really? Yeah. He shoots content for for. I met Chloe Bailey once. What'd you think? I think she's beautiful. I was kind of shy though, cause <laughs> like, how do I even ask? You just walk up to her and just say, "Julia, Julia, <laughs> Julia wants to take you out." <laughs> I know. I should have done that. I think she would fuck with it. Yeah. But it's okay. Next time, you gonna let her know? I got okay. Yeah, good. Good. Come on, Chris. Make it happen. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go to the Koi. Come with me. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, you're not gonna invite me? No, you're coming. <laughs> Are you gonna be in LA for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I'm out here. I bet. We're going. We outside. Fire. Jaleel. <laughs> Bro, it's so dope yeah. because you could literally just be like in a conversation with anyone and then all of a sudden, like, it just gets quiet and you're just sitting there and just like, Jaleel, yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's just perfect. Yeah. That's how I came up with it. Because my mom would be like, Jaleel. And I'd be like, yeah. Oh, so then you just put it together? Jaleel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> Even when you ask a question, I can reply to it. Yeah, like, Yo, Jaleel, yeah. <laughs> it's really a, it's really an answer. It is though, yeah. but it's, it's it an answer so in an emphatic way. It could be so much though. It could be yeah. an answer. Is there any good Nigerian? Sorry, I totally just. Just totally change the topic, but is there is there? <laughs> I just thought this: is there any good Nigerian food or like in LA? Hmm. There's a spot, but it's like it's only one that I like. But I haven't been going there a lot. Yeah. But there's also another place. I can't even think of the names right now. But on DoorDash, there's this African spot I love. But once I find it, I got you. Yeah. 
you know because i have good not jollof found good, yeah good uh, yeah, yeah this good is spot. it's like i think they make it at home though it's not like a restaurant oh and then someone just picks it up yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how it gets though that's that's how it is yeah. though because the the african food i be getting in in my crib in, in staten island i don't get it from yeah. no restaurant i get it straight from the, the jamaican lot. food here is bussing yeah. right? we well, got some good jamaican spots what spot you went to there's this spot called aki bamboo mm. on lamert okay bussing try that i gotta try that you tried it before Nah, but I mean, if you said Lamert, it has to be better than anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's bussing. I'll be Fire. eating that. There's some other shit called jang jangas so or something like that. Jangas, I think. Biggs told me about. Jangas. What's your type of favorite type of food? I like Jamaican and Spanish food. What about you? I, I like more Asian like cuisine, like Taiwanese. I like Ooh, Taiwanese. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, you know Keith Lee, the guy that um Keith Lee? Oh yeah, the he be uh, he's an MMA fighter. Well, no, no, no. Fight. Kevin is his brother. Oh yeah. Keith is the uh the, oh, the food review. The guy. food review. We yeah, had him yeah. in yesterday. Really? Yeah, and and he went around the room and asked everyone what their favorite like and they were like saying all countries and everything, and then my videographer embarrasses the shit out of him. He goes, burgers. <laughs> We're Are like, you oh. serious? Yeah. <laughs> He's like- You love burgers? That's the worst food on the planet, in my opinion. I think burgers is good, though. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think, I think the, most, like the most overrated food in the world is a fucking cheeseburger, dog. Nah. I mean, it depends on how it's made. You I will bugging. slurp four glizzies. I will not- hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Whoa! I will put a glizzy down in there, but a burger, bro. The glizzy cool. goblin. Yeah, he's the glizzy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, we had Scarlet on here. Now you the new glizzy, the new yeah. glizzy goblin. Yeah, that's crazy. Interesting. So, so you take a, <laughs> you, you're gonna eat four glizzies before you eat a cheeseburger. Are you? Oh you would God. eat a glizzy before a cheeseburger at the same time, dude? Like, <laughs> yo! <laughs> nah, pause. <laughs> Oh, Michael got real New York real quick. <laughs> Yo, hey. Nah, nah, yeah. nah. Come on, bro. Yeah. You telling me burgers are like you just said that's the worst food? I think burgers is the is the most not the worst, the most overrated. Nah. You probably don't even eat the glizzy. You probably suck it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I consume it like you vacuum it. Like <laughs> he's doing that video. That I tease it at first and then I Yo! go. Yo, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> so what's your favorite type of food? <laughs> <laughs> You know what's so crazy? I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. I think I love General Sal's chicken. No, oh man. yeah, dude, mm. that's fire. That's top Especially five. The for sure. That's fire. Top five. That's I fire. also love, you know, I love oxtail. Yeah. Yep. Rice I love my jollof rice. My bro, I need some plantains. My fufu. Wait, last time Yao, when what's, what's, Yao... Your, what's your favorite soup to eat with though? What what the the, the fufu to eat? Uh, fufu. Yeah, I like fufu. eating with. Um, a goosey stew. Goosey, that's your favorite? Yeah. And red stew. I love spinach. It's called a fall in, in Yoruba, but it's like a spinach. It's so good. You eat it with the rice or you eat it with you, the You can eat it with white rice, so you can eat it with fufu too. Yeah. But, you know, I love food. I'm an eater. Yeah. Not yeah. in that way. How, how, many, <laughs> how many calories do you eat a day, you think? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, how many yeah, calories do you eat a day, you think? You know what? Probably, what is it? Two thousand? Yeah. Well, two thousand is like the base, but there's maybe no way like you three thousand. Yeah. You know, I gotta eat. I haven't been eating yet. I went to the gym, mm -hmm. and I did um, I did like some pull ups, some back workouts, but I need to get back in the gym. I gotta get a little bit bigger. For what? For who? <laughs> I don't know. For myself. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I want to get to. I'm like two hundred. I look like I'm two fifty. Yeah. But I'm trying to get to 250. I'm trying to be slow. Bro, that's crazy. Do I got muscles? Bro, at 250, yeah. is, that's going to be OD. Yeah. Oh, my God. You cross body someone on the stage, bro, you're going to bring, bring the stage down. I know. That's going to be lit, though. I know. Thank God the stages are strong, though. Because yeah. I'll be backflipping, and when I land, I'm like, damn, this shit catches me what, all the time. What's the closest you've gotten to getting in? Have you gotten injured or done doing at a show or something? You know what? Let me think. Yeah, yeah God forbid. God forbid. But um, nah, everything has been chill. I'm very calculated, I and I think you're very agile. Yeah, yeah, so like, yeah. you don't. Like, I don't yeah. be just doing it, and you know how to land too. Yeah, that's 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 the important. You know, you know but land and shit. But like, obviously, like the front flip into the crowd was wild. That was, that that was, was too od. That was od. Because yeah. like. Anything could have happened. I could have hurt somebody. <laughs> <Were> they, <laughs> God. Do you ever worry if they don't catch you? Not really. I'm more worried for their safety because, <laughs> like, 
I'm a big dude, yeah. and I'm flipping on. Bro, today. imagine this boot just landing in your yeah. fucking face. Yeah. In the crowd. But fun for you, like, you know, I'm glad. I'm so thankful. People were safe. You know, that shit was. That was a though. one and only. That's like a one time only. I would ever do that again. It's too dangerous, bro. Too do, dangerous. do you ever that feel? Was lit, though. That was lit. Do you ever yeah. feel like there's pressure to like keep upping it? And, no. But like as as that's why people like Logan Paul and those people have gotten in trouble in the past yeah. because they're like, okay, my content's this. Now I need to film this. De you yeah. know what I mean? Do stuff like this to like up the views. Mm -mm. You don't ever feel that pressure. No, because I feel like the music will speak for itself. Right. You know, I thought I used to think, man, do I got to do something crazier and crazier? But no, you don't. If you're really talented and you believe in God, just keep showing your talent. People might think, oh, Jaleel, he's just a backflip. Like, that's all he does. And they can think that. It's okay to think that because that was probably how you were introduced to Jaleel. Right. But Jaleel, yeah, <laughs> is a multifaceted person. Yes. He's an artist, and the world's going to know. If Drake is showing love, then... Y'all can't tell me shit. Yeah. That's a fact. I'm really raw. I'm really him. Real I'm Hemothy, Hembelin. Real raw. Yeah. Real raw. That's tough. So uh when like I first saw, because obviously I hadn't like talked to you in years. Yeah. yeah like we yeah. were tight in high school, but like it just we, you know, we went our separate paths. You went to college, I went here. Um, I first saw you when you did that rap lap genius video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the genius video. Yeah, yeah you yeah, did. Yeah. You, it had like 1.8 million views or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And that was like three or four years ago. Yeah. And I was like, bro, what? Like, I didn't even. I wasn't tapped in. I was like, what? Jaleel's like blowing the fuck up. Like, yeah. wh what was? Was that the start of the music success or? Yeah, I think I think that was the start because people didn't know I sang the song. Right. What song was it specifically? When I feel like we're old enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. People didn't know. Yeah. People thought, people are shocked. And then they watched the interview and they're like, oh, the guy's actually a nice guy. Yeah. You know? Because people might see a big dude and think he's like trying to be intimidating, but I'm, hey, I love y'all, <laughs> you know? And I showed that in the interview. Right. And that's when started, shit started to go up. Like people were checking out my music, you know? But I feel like this summer, like I even went even more viral than that. Bro, wait till you wait till you're about to be in like two years. Wait till I drop that one. It's coming soon. You know, wait till I drop it. The whole world gonna turn upside down. I swear. Jaleel Drake and Central C all in a drop. I'll be hard. I'll be <laughs> yeah. crazy. Central C is hard. Yeah. Who's some people you listen to right now that you like? Um, I listen to um, that's a good one. I fuck with Cardi, you know. I fuck with Nicki. I fuck with I, I fuck with a lot of different artists. Cash Cobain, Chowley, you know. I fuck with um, I fuck with Fifty Cent. My my music range is all over. I fuck with Wizkid, Burner Boy, you know. Asha K. Um, uh, 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 Bro, we had Burner Boy's manager yelling Jaleel, yeah, a couple. Really? Times. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get a video of that. Yeah, for sure. He, his, his Yo, name, Burner Boy and Jaleel on the song. Yeah, yeah that would be tough. He's mm -hmm. he's the best. He like hangs out with my group of friends, and we were like Jaleel, and then he started doing like Jaleel, yeah. I need that. Yeah. Yo, I fuck with Pink Panthers too. I'm yeah, trying to get a song with her. Hopefully one day. BK the Ruler. You know, I fuck with the underground. Ruler is fine. I fuck with everybody, yo. So obviously, you, you guys like know how the music shit works. So like for me and obviously listeners who don't like, how do you go about getting a feature? Do you have to go through the label? Do you hit them up specifically and ask them like a, a price point? Like how do you do that? So if you have motion, I feel like the best way to go about it is hit up the artist DM, like right. via DM because the artist might fuck with you, you know? Right. And so that's the best way. Like artists are artists. Going through the label, I feel like it's more like too, too industry ish. Business. Too right. business. But can yeah. you drop it? Yeah. yeah. But because you're, are you, you're not, but say for example, like Drake, had, like these people, some people are with labels. Can the label hold it and not drop the song? Um, it depends. It depends like, on if their you situation. Speak to the artist and be like, yo, bro, like, can we drop this? Like, what's it? Like, I guess they'll be more transparent with you and like, right. yo, I can't drop it at this time or this time. But I feel like you just got to communicate with the artist and, not just get the feature and just drop it. Right, 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 right. 
Because maybe the artist is not ready for you to drop it. Maybe he wants to switch his verse. Maybe yeah. he feels like he could do better, you know? Maybe right. he wants one of his It's just all about communication. But shit. artist to artist is the best thing. Right. Just building relations. You know? like building building like relationships. I'm still learning, though. Like, I don't have all the answers, right. but, you know, I'm a student of the game, mm. a student of life, and I'm learning, yeah. you know? But it's definitely, like, creating connection and shit. Like, yeah. Because I'm not going to lie, like, all the music I have is literally, like, with artists, like every song that I produce, like is just with artists that I'm actually really, really cool yeah. with. Like before you, you, before you make music, you rap too, right? I mean, I be like fucking around. Like I got in the studio like last week. What if your shit blows up? Then shit, I don't then, know. I don't then we know. going on tour, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I go live, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like 22. You need anything? Uh, I'm gonna be with the girls in the back. Here. Let me know if you need. Like, would you ever? Would you ever hop on a track? Nah, I just feel like that's corny. I feel me. like that's not me. I would rather like. What would be a dream would be like, say for example, <laughs> say for example Michael rapped or something like that. Yeah. Like we like went on tour and like I did some like comedy. Michael did a little bit of music. Yeah. We did like a podcast like this and like that's dope to crazy. me. But like I feel like staying, being in your, like out of your lane just because like, you know, the culture yeah. accepts me and you know, I get a lot of love. But like if I came out, I was like, okay, now I'm going to rap. Bo. That I would fucking lose every type of crowd to be like, look at this corny motherfucker. I'd be I mean, Chad Hanks. Everything is presentation, you know? <laughs> right. It depends on how you do it. Right. <laughs> I guess it's just like. He catches straight. I guess. He was coming was out with some heat. Straight. Yeah. He was, though. <laughs> that was a mean straight. He had a song called White Boy Summer. Yeah. Dun, yeah. dun, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that song's fire. Yeah. It's going crazy. Straight. Yeah. But this is the thing the way you're doing it is so good. Mm. Reach out to the artist. Yeah, bro. You got mm -hmm. you got the you know what I mean? You don't need to go through a label, like hit up the homies. We cook right. up some shit, it's done. I need yeah. to do a um like when you do your tape, tape. about to go crazy, man. Yeah, when you do your you tape do, like skits and all type of shit bro, like that. Bro, yeah, yeah. I have to do like a phone call. So yeah, I like yeah, where yeah. I call like cause Machine Gun Kelly's album, he had um Pete Davidson on it. Mm -hmm. And they were just like FaceTiming and being dumb. Like we I could do like one thing yeah, on there. It'd be so that funny. That'd be hard. Hell yeah. yeah. Now, I want and my tape to be something crazy. Like who's who's like Give me five of the top artists. You don't have to know them anything. Five of the top artists that you want on this tape, we're gonna put it out there. Five of the top artists. Besides Jaleel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Besides me. Yeah. Obviously, we getting Jaleel on there. Yeah. Um shit. make a confetti part two. I fucking love that song. That would be fire. Jaleel the child yeah. part two. That'd be yeah. that'd be lit. That'll be hard. But um, I got some shit for him. Shit, shit, shit. Uh Obviously, my boy V's. It's gonna be Joey. Oh, like, V's is that. tough. Yeah, V's. But Obviously, like out of the box people like that um, you haven't worked with yet. Uh, what I've been listening to. Damn, this is tough because I it's been on so much music I've been listening to. I had to look at my phone, bro. It's crazy because when you ask questions like that, you can't think. I of start it. blinking, right. bro. Yeah. I but start like blinking. you're always gonna play but, the songs. Right. And yes, bro. I studio. start blinking. I can't even give you that answer. Yeah. Nah, that's tough. Well, um, V's. Um. Uh. Damn, this is tough. I'm blinking, bro. I'm blinking. It's fine. I gotta give you a list. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I was just curious. I was just curious, like the people like you would love to work with. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who's like an artist you feel like is corny as fuck? <laughs> Jeez, Julio. <laughs> like what? Like like who's like someone that you just like listen to, just see and be like, oh, I don't fuck with him. I'm trying to think. I don't have any problems calling people out because like I don't give a fuck. But like, <laughs> I don't know who, who do I think is corny. Like I wouldn't have any of their music on my phone. Who 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 do you think like? Is there anyone that you think that? Because maybe it'll give me like a inspiration. Hmm. Maybe is there anyone that think that's corny? Uh, I don't know because people think I'm corny. Yeah. You know, like people be like, "Oh, get this corny ass nigga out here." Right. Mm -hmm. But I'll be like, "What do I do?" Like all I do is say, "Jaleel, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah." Why am I corny? Yeah. You know. But, I don't know. Um, yeah, there's there's no one like that. I don't know that I think it's corny because I just like I'm not a type of person that like subscribes to like yeah. stuff I don't like. So I'm not gonna go watch someone because I don't like them. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, if yeah. I don't like them and I think they're corny, they're just never even in my head. I don't like you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like right now, like I dude, I love listening to Central C. Like he's probably like number one for me right now. I don't yeah. know. Central I just, C is fire. I just yeah. like rapping in the UK accent. You know. Yeah, he's and the so man them uh, killing him. You know. Yeah. <laughs> His on the radar shit with Drake was fire. Yeah. And like the accent just make the flow sound so crazy. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah, make yeah. the flow sound crazy. Them niggas got the upper hand with the with the London accent. Yeah, I, yeah. I love how they be like, 
uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> and they always be like, you know what I mean? Using their hands. But I listen to a lot of like I like I like Bieber. I like Justin Bieber's music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Shout out Justin Bieber. Yeah. Hey, That's man, he's got some fire records. Like I, I just I like everything. Like yeah, hip hop yeah. and like R and B. Like I don't I can't listen to like fucking country or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Although I, I do like the Dirk Joey. Morgan Wallen um, Oh yeah. Oh, was, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that just sounds good. Yeah. I just I gotta listen, listen to Wolfish Joey. Lead him wrong, Wayne. Yeah, I got a like, Yeah, that's yeah. I, I love that you guys listen to a lot of different artists. Yeah, yeah. bro. I like I like a yeah. lot of underground too. Like underground is fire. What do you guys like to do outside? Subi of Baby this? too. Subi Baby is fire. Subi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah bro, just really what do you like too. to do outside of studio work, mm. acting? Uh, I like driving fast cars. <laughs> yeah. Really? Cars. What kind of cars you have? Uh, I got. A, a BMW M50. Gee. Got an M5. Jeez. Got an R8. Wow. And I have a Golf R. Damn, you have that many whips? Yeah, bro. I'm the bag be hitting like Audi. that. Yeah. Audi. Yeah, R8. I don't know. The truck? Yo, like the QA in Jamaica. Damn. How about I love you? Cars. I love cars. I like cars. How old are you? How old are you? 22. Damn, this nigga got more cars than me. I still drive my Honda. I love cars. <laughs> Don't fall into that rabbit hole, though, bro. I'm telling you, because once yeah, you get yeah. once you get addicted to cars, it's over with. Bro, he got me addicted to cars. I'm sending him shit every day. I'm like, I'm getting this fucking. He's like, I need this. I need this. G80, bro. What and about then, you? And then, but he enables me because he'll fucking send me videos of like cars on the street. He'd be like, I'm like, I yeah, I seen the G80 yesterday. I had to send it to you. Yeah. Jeez, fire. I'm like, yo, bro, yeah. you, this is you. You look good in it. I like it, dude. I like everything entertainment. I love, I love stand up comedy. I was in that world for years doing podcasting and stuff yeah. like that. Love going to the comedy store, Laugh Factory, improv. I love music, going to shows. I just like I like like obviously going to dinners with friends, but I like I like going to entertainment stuff. Like I love seeing people in their mode doing their thing, you know? Yeah, 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 but yeah. honestly, like it was so funny. I was driving past Warner Brothers last night to go home and I was just it was like three AM. We were coming back from the club and I was just like, bro, if I I wish I didn't have to go out and be anywhere. I wish I was just on the lot working because I love like my job so much. Yeah. Sometimes it gets long and like, you know, when you're doing the same role for four or five years, like it gets a little repetitive. But like most nights I'm like, there's nowhere I'd rather When you be. have a role with a shorty and you guys are like having sex, that's not real, right? <laughs> no. Real no? raw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I put him on it up. Oh wow. Yeah, you like that? That was good. Yeah. He hit that angle. That was um, great. No, it's not it's not real sex. They put like they put like um stuff over your packages and oh, then yeah, it's okay. just like a budget. It's just hitting. <laughs> really? It's just hitting, yeah, but there's nothing happening. Have you ever like it's so weird? Have you ever did anything with like a shorty on camera? Like Yeah, on, on Monday. <laughs> and got hard is that what you're gonna ask <laughs> is that what you're gonna ask yeah <laughs> literally on Monday <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm dead yeah. ass like like alright there's a there's what do you actually like the no but that's the thing bro that I had like like I did a, uh, a <laughs> not like when you have chemistry with someone like it it should be real right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like that's what I like we, obviously the goal of acting is to be as real as possible yeah so uh, I I forgot what actor said this but he goes up to people and he says I'm sorry if I do and I'm sorry if I don't so it's like I'm sorry if I do get aroused or whatever yeah. because like it's awkward for both of us but like Horny. i'm sorry if like i'm not into you you know what i mean yeah. like you should but also it's weird like it happened to me and in, in power like it's happened like that's that's yeah, like i've been seen in the and like the, the partner she was like if if i have an intimate scene and the dude doesn't get hard I, like i'll feel disrespected yeah you're like, <laughs> like, like this guy's not into me yeah. like, like, she's touching you like you know has I mean? it ever like, happened to you on on ghost michael no nah. michael has it ever happened to you on those? <laughs> nah, nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah, nah. Bro, you know what's crazy? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yes, it bro, I admitted it. Can you just admit it? All right, bro. You know it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hey, it's, a, it's an open space. It's transparency. Yeah, it's not like we're you doing know. anything wrong. Like, that's yeah. just like life. We're men. Man. Yeah. You know, like we get hard. Time. We get horny. <laughs> <laughs> Julio, uh, wow! I just turned yeah. into a blue chew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A blue yeah. chew. Yeah, but bro, we have to have you back for sure. We'll have you back when you drop your next um, project. Come back, promote it. 
Yeah. Um, and we'll uh, love to. We'll get you in there. But we got. Yeah. When are you dropping, bro? When you dropping? Um, hopefully dropping. I want to drop next week. You oh. know. Okay. A lot of people have been dropping. A lot of great artists have been dropping. Travis, Uzi, Drake's finna drop. You know. But I'm trying to drop like in between. I don't want to drop it on the same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but, but I, can't till, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait till Drake drops that album, bro. It's I know it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. You heard Trav album? Yeah, you, you a little bit. It? I gotta listen to it. I haven't be a, been able to like really digest it, but yeah, it sounds good. A lot of people it. saying it sounds like old Trav. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard the old Trav in it yeah, too. About to go listen. But, you heard Uzi album? You fuck with Uzi album? Yeah, there's some songs that. I didn't love, but this song is like the Spin Again song. I just love it. Spin Again. Yeah. The, yeah, the beat is just so That tough. beat is crazy. Shout out my boy Swiss. I was make, yo, I used to make beats with Swiss like five years ago. Me and Swiss, he he, he co-produced that song. Shout Damn. Out he yeah. went crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's, shit. that beat is crazy. Yeah, bro. Like that but that shit's hard. Yeah. I'm you guys are my, cool. I'm dropping my I tape. fuck with y'all. Yeah, now nah, we fuck with you, you too, bro. People. It was I fire. You, like we literally seen him too, outside, bro. bro. Like that was literally I insane. Bro, that's I went fire. to bro. I, I can't even believe that we literally went to the same fucking high school. And we're I both know. out here, doing, bro. Like now you guys are just cool. It's and just black. crazy. We're just cool, and I didn't say that, but I was thinking it. No, <laughs> it's just crazy that like we're just out here doing our thing. And I know. I'm so I'm fucking proud of you, like, bro. I'm so fucking proud of you. I really am, and I cannot wait until like you hit that stride where you yeah. are blown the fuck. It's up. gonna happen. bro. I know it is. I just right know. There, um, right yeah, exactly. I just right know there. that it's all in God's timing. Right. You know, like everything I have done has always been timing and it's always been me you know it was not like someone was like yo Jalil I'm gonna put you on it's always just like Jalil find a way to make it happen yeah you know and you are you you guys are doing the same thing yeah, yeah. man just keep going keep pushing I believe in you Thank I know you, you believe in me you. you believe in all these guys here yeah, yeah sure. you know you guys except are great Yao, people. but everyone else <laughs> <I pretty much laughs> <believe it. laughs> yo Yao you be catching the most days I ain't gonna lie that's tough you know <laughs> But I love yeah. you, No, no, yo. You got Don't listen me. to him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah. Who's in your corner the most? Julia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, 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 you. I love you. I love you too, yeah. Jaleel, I love you, bro. Oh, we're we're going to have many more of this. Many more Thank of this, you. for oh, sure. Yeah, we're going to go crazy. But I'm so fucking proud of you, bro. Thank you for I'm proud of you, too. What are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, what are we, we doing, outside? man? We outside. You know, let's go turn up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man. Let's go. Yeah. Maybe get a, get a drink. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Whatever <laughs> y'all want to do. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, know. I love this motherfucker. We could just turn up. Yeah, you know? let's do it. I mean, pl pl plug what you got. Your Instagram, your project. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right so if you guys want to get some real raw. Go follow me at J E L E E E E L. Twitter, Instagram, you know. TikTok. I don't, yeah, TikTok. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Please listen. I love y'all. Jaleel, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> when I feel like rolling up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to slide in. Mike. <laughs> um, shit. This uh, is a dope podcast. Thank you, bro. This, this is, is Jaleel really good. fuck with us, man. So y'all gotta fuck with us now. Yeah. And Drake fuck with Jaleel, so that means y'all gotta fuck with us. Yeah. Basically, with. we're Drake's best friends. Is Drake. What that means. I like what Drake likes. <laughs> <laughs> I like what Drake likes. <laughs> yeah. Is this where Drake goes? <laughs> yeah. Drake fucks with me, so you guys can't tell me shit. Noah's Ark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, man. Um, Baby, I'm going to take you to Keiko's. Baby, let me take you to Keiko's. <laughs> bring out all the lobsters. <laughs> Tell them to bring out the lobster. <laughs> Tell them to follow me on Instagram. I know. At Where's 22? <laughs> TikTok as well. <laughs> YouTube as well. And um, yeah. Yeah. Gianni V. Paolo, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of it. We got new merch out right Woo! now. Cop that. Um, Gianni Vlogs, all of it. Um. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I think this is the end of our LA run, but I'm going to try and get Michael to come back and do more episodes because everyone's out here. So. Let's go. I'm going to spin back for sure. Yeah. Spin again. Spin again. Spin yeah. again. Mike, give us one. The crew has it, baby. And, and Jaleel, give us Jaleel, one. Jaleel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate Peace. it. Bye. Bye.